now we're going to be moving to our fifth case. Our fifth case is not something we've link, we can link to any of the parts of integration, mostly, uh, but it is something that we link to differentiation, not because of the reverse differentiation issue, but because we're talking about differential equations. Now, if you remember from previous chapters that differential equations were equations that expressed some sort of rates. And when we used it in, in uh, differentiation, we actually uh, got, we got them ourselves from the problem solvings and uh, we also knew how to solve them with implicit differentiation and such. That was in chapter 4. Now, what we're actually doing is that we're going to solve differential equations using integration. The point of this is, uh, in, or in for example here, we're given this example where the question states that uh, dy by dx, uh, it's actually a whole question where I find a particular solution of the following differential equations using the given boundary conditions. And we're given that dy by dx is equal to sine x cosine x, uh, cosine squared x, and then we're given that the boundaries are y equals 0 and x equal to pi thirds. Now, the first step we're going to do here is that we are going to isolate the different variables. So here we're going to have the y's on one side, and on the other side we'll have all the x's, which happen, which we here we happen to not have a y, but it's not always the case. You'll see this later. Now our second step is to add the integral sign before them. Uh, as long as you apply it to both sides, then what you're doing is correct. So here is here and here. Now we have integration on both sides, so we can solve the integration. Here, this is going to, so the third step is to actually integrate, and this will give you y. This one here, I wanted to, I want you, I want to solve it for you on the side. Once yellow, and here, yes, because I don't want it to be so apparent. We remember that when we have sine and cosine, uh, or one of them is squared, we just simply put the square as u, so this is going to be cosine x. Our du is going to equal to minus sine x, and that means that this integration is actually u squared uh, du and there's a negative sign so this is negative u3 over 3 plus d and that's it so if we want to write it out in full here what we're going to have is negative cosine cubed x over 3 plus c and here we have the c too but we're going to only put it on one side because it's constant here constant there subtracting from each other you're going to have another constant now what we're going to do is insert these boundaries we're given. So this will be 0, and this will be pi over 3, so minus cosine cubed pi over 3, and cosine pi over 3 is half, so half cubed is 1 over 8, 1 over 8 divided by 3 is 1 over 24 plus c, so minus 1 over 24 plus c, that means our c is actually 1 over 24, and that solves the problem. And this is what differential equations revolve around. They're very simple and straightforward. Here, um, we're all not always given the boundaries, like here, uh, but sometimes we're just told to stop somewhere. Uh, I mean, like we're just getting the general equation. So here's another example. Uh, we're given that dy by dx is 1 plus y into 1 minus 2x. So we're going to follow our steps. First step is isolate the y's, so dy divided by 1 plus y, here we have a y. And the other side will be 1 minus 2x into dx. That was our first step. Our second step is to simply add the integral sign. So this will be like this. And this will be the same way. Then we're going to integrate. Integration is simple and easy and we've done it multiple times in this chapter, so this will be lin into 1 plus y and this is going to equal to uh, 1 minus uh, this is going to be mod x minus x squared plus c then if we want this is we can actually stop here replace with the numbers they give us or just stop also we can make y the subject of the formula by multiplying the whole thing by e so this will be e to the power um, uh, we can change the whole thing by uh, make getting rid of the lin into e's and such but we can also stop here, and this is what the question actually asks for, and it's simple. Now, these are just book questions. If you want to actually see how they ask in past papers, here is an actual past paper question. In the question, we're told that it's actually um, 
Jan 13, question 8. In that question, we say, we're told that we have a refrigerator. And in that refrigerator, a bottle of milk or water, I don't remember, yes, a bottle of water is put into that fridge. Uh, a th uh, we're told that the temperature inside that fridge is actually 3 degrees Celsius. And we're told that when the bottle is put inside the refrigerator for tea time, uh, it, its temperature dropped to or became 0 degrees Celsius. We're also given in the question that d theta by dt, so the rate of change of temperature, is going to be 3 minus theta over 125. Then we're asked to, uh, and then in the first part, we're asked to prove a certain equation, which is that theta is equal to a into e minus 0 0.008t plus 3. So what we're going to do is do our, what we normally do. First step, we're isolating variables. So our d theta is going to be divided by 3 minus theta. And our, this one, uh, our, our t is going to be here as dt over 125. Our second step is going to be adding the integral sign on both sides, and our third step is going to be actually to integrate. And this is going to be negative into ln 3 minus theta, because it's 3 minus theta, and then we differentiate uh, the minus theta, and it becomes negative 1. On the other side, this is going to be t over 125, and we're going to add our constant c. Then the next step is, uh, we want theta to be the subject of the formula, so what we're going to do is we're going to first get rid of the ln by saying first that this is going to be ln into 3 minus theta equal to minus t over 1, 2, 5 minus t, which is also plus t. doesn't matter. And then the c is always a constant anyway. So uh, then we're going to change this by putting e exponent ln 3 minus theta. And this will be e into minus t over 1, 2, 5 plus c, which is also, by the way, e into minus c over 1, 2, 5 into e to the power c. Because when you multiply 2 with the same base, you add the exponent. Anyway, then this will become actually 3 minus theta. And this is going to be e to the power minus t, uh, t over 1, 2, 5, which is minus 0.008t. And our e into c can be any constant we can call e. Then we make theta the subject of the formula by just adding this here and taking that there. And then we're going to have e minus 0.008t and multiplied by a. And then we can simply add 3 and this will give us the formula they asked for. Then if you can, the second part of the of the question continues to ask further about finding the time for the temperature taking for 10 degrees for, to fall to 10 degrees Celsius. So it's basically replacements and using ex, uh, exponential functions that we've explained earlier. And that would be it for this part of the chapter.